Okay, this is uh, problem 19 in the book. Angular linear velocity, section 4-4. It says, if the minute hand of a clock is long enough, the human eye can perceive the motion of its tip. The shortest minute hand you can see is 10 inches. So that has to be a radius of 10 inches. And it's a minute hand on a clock. What's the slowest linear motion? So that means I'm looking for a linear velocity. And here's my picture. And this is a minute hand of a clock and it's rotating around. And the minute hand, the minute hand moves one revolution every six minutes, 60 minutes. So the angular velocity is one revolution per 60 minutes. All right, so I have a radius and an angular velocity and I'm looking for the linear velocity. So the first thing I'll do is I'll take my angular velocity, one revolution per 60 minutes, and convert it into radians. One revolution is 2 pi rads. Uh, revolutions cancel, and then 2 pi divided by 60 is just pi over 30 um, radians per minute. And then my linear velocity is equal to radius times angular velocity, where this is in radian measure, which I have. So my linear velocity for this problem is my radius of 10 inches times my angular velocity in radians, pi rads per 30 minutes. Radians just disappear because it's really unitless. So I have 10 pi over 30. Um, I think I'll just get it decimal approximation for that. So um, pi over 3 is equal to 1.05. So I have 1.05 inches per minute. So the slowest linear velocity that an eye could perceive in inches per minute is 1.05 inches per minute goes any slower than that, I won't be able to see it move. If it goes faster than that, then I will be able to.